Hello Ashley, uh, this will be some video feedback for you on Milestone 1. Uh, Ashley, here's your package uh, unopened or opened up and <clears throat> I'm assuming that this PDF is your record of your process. Let um, me take a look at that. And then I also see your Illustrator file and what looks like some images <clears throat> that are uh, included in it. And this might take a few minutes. Um, so uh, Yes, I guess. Okay, so this is one of your, oh yes, I remember this manipulated images. This is a four page PDF showing before and after. Yes. Um, okay, I remember that from week one. Uh, good to include. Um, start to build a narrative around it though, uh, because you'll need that. You'll need that for your uh, final project. Um, see, that was another student. So that was uh, okay. Now, when I open up your PSD, oh, it should actually be okay when I open up your Illustrator file I'm getting prompted for linked files okay you need to know the difference between embedding um, and linking now right off the bat um, a linked file which doesn't show up is going to have an X through it okay very easy to embed a file <laughs> let me show you how that's done um, but before I get there great job of putting things on their layers you know it's easy to turn them on or off and I'll talk about the design uh, in looking at the, the PDF that you posted in the discussion board. But back to linked files. <clears throat> okay, so if I'm going to place a file and I want to embed it, uh, it's the same process. You go to File, Place. And then <clears throat> um, I'm going to just use any old thing I've got that's appropriate. But before I do that, make sure that this is not selected. You know, it's a little tiny part of the interface in Illustrator now, but it's really misleading. If this is selected, your file will be linked. By default, it is selected. Once you uncheck it, though, any files you import in Illustrator will be embedded. Okay, so anyway, a big difference. Um, now, I'm just going to place it as if it were a linked file, and notice that it does not have an X through it. That's how I know that it is a... Um, embedded file and you can size it you know just as you would any other file in every other respect uh, however your file is well structured and it's easy to turn things on or off it should be no difficulty in animating it so when you save your file as a PDF um, it embeds the images I mean it's essentially the same thing um, but you should know how to embed or link images because there are occasions to do both I really appreciate your um, <clears throat> silhouette of the crystals. Um, I like that as a border, and it's a good border for this shaved off in the trimming. Um, you won't miss it. I don't think you need borders around images. I would rather see this bled uh, across the bottom half of the page with the amethyst border um, as part of the background, and maybe with a solid above. Also, I don't think you need a purple box around the logo. I would use one of the floating versions uh, of the logo. And you restrain with your typography. Um, I think you could vary the scale, you know, have something really big against something small. The contact information, think about what is used uh, currently. And you'll find that people use, you know, um, QR codes. You want these ads to be contemporary, so you might want to generate a dummy QR code. In any case, this contact information can be ranged on a single line, uh, sort of discreetly somewhere in the bottom. It should be legible, but just remember that that's probably not the primary way somebody is going to contact. They're going to want to go to the website first. Um, I think you have plenty of ingredients, you know, to create a striking ad. And uh, now that you've got them on their own layers, and once you've embedded them, Try moving them around, playing with different compositions. Okay, so that's going to be it, I think, for this. And uh, I look forward to seeing how your ads shape up.